Hi there. In this video, we will try to recall the number system that we usually do in mathematics and how it can be used in our economic analysis, something we will see as well. Why there is a need to recall the number system? It's basically because economic variables, they are in numerical forms and for that we need to understand the nature of the number system so that we choose the right type of the number to represent an economic measurement and usually we have real numbers that represent the uh, value and the volume of economic phenomenon and this is how the usual number system works in the number system we have broadly speaking two types one is the real numbers and the other is the imaginary numbers um, imaginary numbers are rarely used in our economic analysis uh, in advanced version of uh, mathematical economics it is used for explaining the situation of uh, economic variables however in this course basically we focus on the real numbers that are further of two types that is the rational numbers and irrational numbers then uh, out of the rational numbers we have integers and fractions so let's see in a uh, little bit of detail that how these numbers are real and imaginary numbers the difference is there when we talk about the imaginary numbers uh, there is a little bit of digression from the real numbers and it is in the form of the square root of minus one which can be written like this that is the square root of minus one uh, we represent this value that is the value of uh, minus one square root with the help of a Greek letter which is uh, quite similar to I and it is known as iota and if we take a square of it in order to get rid of this square root which is not suitable for a minus one value we can take uh, this uh, square value and that will convert it into something which is without a negative uh, value square root now after this uh, we come back to uh, the real number analysis because this is beyond the scope of our course so for the time being we are not going to delve deeper into it so then we shift towards the rational and the irrational numbers the rational numbers they are expressed in the form of a ratio considering that p over q is the standard form we can see that q should not be equal to zero because if q is zero then the result will be an indefined response which will not be interpretable from the economic side as we know that the values in the economic analysis they are rarely infinite they are some well-defined numbers so we can say that p and q they are representing minus three minus two up to any uh, positive value on the right hand side in between there is zero so this number line is basically representing the p and q possible values undefined definitely is just like timelessness that is the eternity so we are not concerned about such things in economics so we um, dispel the possibility of undefined values or infinity and then um, we have some examples here you can see um, there are some ratios for example in this case the answer is a complete number that is 3 2.5 and then there is a fraction so uh, when we take the ratio we get a same pattern and it gets repeated that is 6 is appearing again and again and then we have irrational numbers that are other than rational so they won't have the same properties as we have seen in the rational numbers so uh, no repetitive pattern will be there and they will be endless as you can see the pattern is not repetitive it is one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine so the same numbers are not reoccurring again and again the way it was happening in case of rational numbers so in this irrational number which is pi uh, we have this value which is 24 22 over 7 we can combine these and when we combine these we get the real numbers rational and irrational numbers 
then integers and fractions they also need a little bit of description this is what we have in the um, domain of real numbers now we are focusing on integers and fractions these are integers that is the combination of zero and the negative values and the positive values fractions are those that are not a whole number as you can see 5 over 6 a over b and 0.52 are the fractions so this is how we understand the types of numbers in economics and which one of them are more applicable this is something that we saw in this video thank you